Frax Systems. The power to secure the future. Home meters and other electrical equipment trading data to make energy use more efficient. This smart grid is a great idea, almost everyone agrees, but it has a potentially dangerous downside. The complexity of the grid itself might be turned against it in a computer attack. A computer attack that could cause a massive blackout. CNN has learned that tests have shown that a hacker with a few hundred dollars and some specialized skills can penetrate some types of meters and other points in the smart grid two-way communication system. The hacker could then turn off thousands, even millions of meters under his control, or he might be able to jack electricity demand up and down so dramatically it could destabilize the local electric grid and take out power to potentially a large metropolitan area. Millions of smart meters are already deployed, and there is business and political pressure to expand smart grid further, though the security issues have not been fully addressed, meaning we are potentially creating a cyber-vulnerable electric system. The Wall Street Journal reporting evidence that Chinese and Russian operatives have mapped out the U.S. power grid and planted little electronic time bombs along it. Exactly who is doing this and why? We turn to ABC News consultant, former presidential cybersecurity expert Richard Clark. Thanks, Dick, for being with us this morning. So, Good morning. What is this city? Who is this? And is this serious? It's very serious. I think the government has known for several years that China and Russia and other countries have created offensive cyber war units and have penetrated American networks, including the electric power grid, which is pretty easy to penetrate. And that allows them in a time of war or a time of crisis to go in and shut off the electric power and to actually destroy generators uh, throughout the United States. security advisor who warned two U.S. presidents about the al-Qaeda threat says that cyber war is the next major national security challenge. Richard Clark served as a counterterrorism and security analyst for the Bush and Clinton administrations for 11 years. His latest book warns about the danger posed by a new form of war, cyber attack. Richard Clark, what is cyber warfare and how big a threat is it? Well, cyber warfare is the destruction, the disruption or the damage to real-world systems affected by computer attack. And it only occurs in the context of war itself, or I suppose covert action. So it's only ever going to occur if nations go to war with each other. Cyber war can do many of the same things that regular war can do. It can blow up electric power grids and cause blackouts. It can cause trains to derail. It can cause pipelines to explode, refineries to explode. In other words, this is what people don't normally get. Cyber war isn't about ones and zeros killing each other in some theoretical fourth dimension. It's about making things in the real world blow up. So how big a vulnerability is that? Well, if you believe you need electric power, <laughs> it's quite a vulnerability. In, in a wartime situation, when you need your rail system working, your aviation system working, your logistic system working, uh, they won't be if the other side chooses to attack through cyber war. Uh, I think the U.S. ability to detect a cyber attack has significantly increased in recent years, but that's true only of the U.S. Uh, military and U.S. intelligence community. Most of the U.S. private sector, which is all the electric power, all the banks, all the trains, all the airlines, would not know if they were being attacked.
with all of the threats to the electrical grid, both known and unknown. Preventing unwanted intrusion is critical. A secure grid is the only smart grid. Infrac Systems offers the first truly secure utility smart grid communications platform. The Infrac Secure Network Interface Card, known as the SNCC, is the next generation of grid security products. SNCC addresses the advanced metering infrastructure requirements of electric utilities worldwide and provides one of the highest levels of meter security available to date. The SNCC employs military-grade encryption based on security module technology and patented authentication mechanism protects the meter from cyber attacks or physical compromises. Each meter has its own unique identification and authentication key, and every encrypted channel has its own on-demand generated key. These keys are periodically rotated to further enhance the security of the meters and thwart man-in-the-middle attacks. The authentication keys are stored in the security module, making it inaccessible for any types of hardware or software-based attacks. The SNCC, with AES 256-bit encryption for data streams and RSA 2048-bit for authentication and key exchange, meets National Institute of Standards and Technologies, FIPS, 140-2 Security Level 3 compliance. The Universal Host Interface Board is equipped with two wireless modules, one for home area networking using secure ZigBee and the other for secure wide area networking. The Wide Area Networking Module utilizes a standards-based communication protocol at the 1900 MHz spectrum. The TDMA protocol and the deterministic channel access guarantee superior quality of service and superior reliability to any existing solutions in the market today. The Secure Smart Meter Card is the first of several products to be introduced as part of Infrax's Secure Intelligent Energy Platform. With all of the threats to the electrical grid, both known and unknown, preventing unwanted intrusion is critical. A secure grid is the only smart grid. Infrac Systems offers the first truly secure utility smart grid communications platform.